Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. As promised, I am back and we are going to be playing with the new launch from Chanel. They recently came out with six new Stilo Ombre A Contour pencils and I now have five of the six and I thought we could have fun playing with these pencils today. I first picked up the kind of three most neutral colors to kind of create a natural everyday eye look and then I picked up two of the pop colors. Um, this one is in the Neon Dahlia as well as the beautiful Nuage Bleu color and so I wanted to kind of show you some different ways that you can create a little pop of color on the eyes and use these. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about these eye pencils kind of creating a fun little pop of color on the eyes then let's go ahead and get started. Okay first things First, I want to give you a swatch of all five shades that I have. These are a new launch from Chanel. They are $38 a piece. And I'm really loving the formula of these Stilo Ombre A Contour Eye Pencils. They do seem a little bit creamier uh, formula so far because I've had some of the older ones and I'm finding that these just glide on a bit easier. Um, they've always been super long lasting and I just thought we could have a little bit of fun creating an eye look today. So let me give you a swatch of all five shades that I have. So here is a swatch of the five pencils that I have so far. The first one over here is Celestial Pink and as you can see this one does have a little bit of kind of glitter fall out that I had not noticed the first time I used it but some of you mentioned that so this to me is a really beautiful topper shade. Then next to it we have Neon Dahlia, Nuage Bleu, Ataya and this really beautiful brown called a source and it is a really deep rich it almost has like a little bit of plum undertone in it i really really like this one so these are the five pencils that i have so far we're gonna have fun creating a beautiful look using these today Okay, for the sake of time, I went ahead and put on um, foundation, concealer. I used my Jardin Imaginaire um, blush and highlighter. And then what I want to do before we get to using the pencils, I am going to put down a matte shade in my crease. And I did go ahead and pick up another one of the Ombre Essential. Um, this one is in beige suede. It is just like the perfect kind of neutral matte shade. And let me give you a little kind of swatch right here when you're just looking for kind of that beautiful you know, beige color. I want to just put a little bit of that in my crease before we start using the pencils. And I have several of these singles and I honestly just love these so much. Um, they create the perfect one and done eyes, but they also are just great for like, you know, like this one's going to be like the perfect kind of crease slash transitional color. So I'm going to just go ahead and put a little bit of this on my fluffy brush here and then I'm just going to come over here and put some of that beige suede right in that crease and just slightly above right there. Makes a great little shadow. This is a great everyday shadow. So there would be often times when I would just wear this with one or two 
of the Stilo Ombre A Contour um, pencils, but today I'm going to kind of we're going to try to use as many as possible just to kind of create a look. But I just wanted to highlight this shade, this beige suede, because it's just kind of the perfect base shade. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ataya on my mobile lid. I really love this sort of beautiful. It's sort of an amber colored pencil. It's so pretty. I really like this one. Bring you in a little closer just for the eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of this pencil right here. And we can kind of build from there, but I'm using this all over my mobile lid and then I will take a little brush and kind of blend it where I want. But even just the two of those colors together are so pretty. The beige suede and the attire. So what I'm doing is I'm coming in, you can use your fingers, and I'm using one of my Chanel blender brushes right here. And I am just gonna kind of blend this into place kind of show you as we're building that you could just use those two colors. You could also just use a little bronzer in the crease and then that attire. But I think those are so pretty. Then what I like to do is go in with the Celestial Pink. This is more of a topper shade. It has a little bit of, um, it does have some glitter and sparkle. And what I like to do is I kind of come in the inner corner here and I'm just going to add that little bit of pop sprinkles of little jazz there. So I'm kind of using that in the inner corner and Kind of like right to the iris. And then I like to bring that in, kind of use it right in that inner corner. And I'm actually going to use my finger here and I'm just going to kind of press that in. Right there, you can kind of see it has like a little shift. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? Then I'm coming into a source, this really beautiful brown shade. And again, this one has, um, I feel like a little undertone of some purple or plum in it. So it does sort of pop my eyes because I've got a little like uh, hazel green eyes. And I found that this one kind of popped it. So what I'm doing is I'm going in close to the upper lash line, like the upper water line here. And then we'll have some fun with those pops of color. And I'm gonna smoke that out just a bit. I'm just gonna come close here. I'm coming in with my Chanel number 205. And what I'm gonna do is just soften that line just a bit. You can go as thick or thin as you want. I'll see in a minute how I'm going to match each side here. Okay, so far we've kind of got those three pencils that I used the other day um, along with that beige suede um, to kind of ground everything. And then we're going to add a pop of color. And to start, I'm actually going to put the blue nuage. I kind of want to put that on my lower lash line for like a little pop of color as well as the 
Neon Dolly just to kind of show you how you could do just a teeny pop of color um, without going too crazy if you're somebody who likes a more neutral eye and I am so excited about this neon dahlia it just looks so pretty and it kind of is reminding me a little bit of my ultimate favorite from Chanel and it was purple chalk and I miss that one and I'm gonna come and go ahead and do a little pop of this neon dahlia little pop of purple here. And then on this side, I'm gonna do the blue nuage, but I actually think these might look really pretty mixed together. So we'll see, but I just wanna kind of show you like how you could use these in a little different way. Okay, so this is one way to wear it where you can just add a teeny pop of color with either that pop of blue, um, kind of a really pretty soft blue color or that pop of purple. But in order to see the full look, I wanna go ahead and put mascara on so you can kind of see that. And then we can continue to play a little bit with these two pop colors. Okay, we have eyeballs on. This is the Blue Nuage. This is the pop of the Neon Dahlia. And then on my eye, I've got the Celestial Pink Ataya as well as that A Source Deep Brown kind of smudged here. So that's how one way, if you are um, not sure about doing a little pop of color, this is the way that I would wear it normally. And then for those of you who have been with me for a while, you know I was obsessed with purple chalk. This is from the Stilo Ye Waterproof line. Yep, I still have my purple chalk. I had kind of stocked up on them. So I wanted to show you the difference. This top one is purple chalk, so definitely a little deeper tone than this little brighter pop from the Neon Dahlia, but same kind of effect. Um, I always like to use my purple chalk just as a little fun pop of color. I felt like it kind of brightened up my eyes. I feel the same way about those two pop colors here. And then for fun, I am going to add a little bit of this purple close to the upper lash line, like kind of a little, you know, lower lash line pop. And then if you wanted to, you could kind of extend that close to your lash line with the either the Blue Nuage or the Neon Dahlia. Adding a little bit of that purple right there, so pretty, just to kind of blend that all together. Coming in with this beautiful uh, nuage blue. I think this is so pretty, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, is adding a little pop of this blue, kind of retro color right there. And then just blending that out. This one makes like a really pretty, soft, kind of powdery blue color. I really like this blue nuage. I'm so glad that I picked it up because um, I'm actually liking it kind of as eyeshadow on this eye. That's actually really pretty here. And again, you could kind of build these up. So that's kind of a couple different ways to wear these pops of color. And since I'm gonna be going out into the world today, I am gonna go ahead and even out my eyes. So I have not just the blue and the purple, I'm actually gonna mix them. Let's see how that looks. I kind of think they're gonna be pretty together. So I'm just going to quickly um, kind of add a little purple right here with that nuage blue. I think that's kind of a pretty look here. Coming over to the other eye over here. 
I'm just going to kind of mix those two. And it won't be exact, but it won't look too crazy. And then I'm going to take this pretty color, which I really like, and I'm going to add some of that just kind of right here and kind of blending that out. I really like this color blue. And then just to even out this side, I'm actually just going to put a little of the purple liner and a little bit of that purple. The mix of the purple and the blue are actually so pretty. I'm kind of surprised. And for somebody who loves a sort of neutral eye look, um, I'm actually really liking these and I can see myself kind of gravitating to just that little pop of color that's kind of fun, um, but it, it just isn't too overwhelming for myself. So, uh, so excited about these pencils. Now, I will say it was brought to my attention that the Celestial Pink has a little bit of fallout, and when I've been playing with these today, yeah, I'm seeing just a teeny bit of those sparkles because I kind of added it right in here, and I'm seeing a little bit of that drag down underneath my eyes and when I get things like that that's when I will come back with my concealer and put a touch of that on and then hopefully kind of clean up any sort of sparkle. So yes I do want to mention that there is a little bit of fallout from that celestial pink and it is kind of like any topper shade that I've kind of used sometimes you know especially if I'm using my finger on it I can kind of get it all over but did want to say yes I do see that um, this time around as I'm playing with the other pencils that would be one thing I would mention I still really like that color and I'm just kind of cleaning it up with a little bit of concealer I also want to give another shout out as I mentioned the other day in the other video did pick up the new brow pencil the micro fine definition eyebrow pencil which I am just freaking loving it. Again, it kind of twists up just like this. You've got a little brush on the other side, but I know eyebrow pencils cannot be the most exciting thing in the world, but as I was saying, I'm not the best with brows, but I'm absolutely loving this one. It's like really easy to just kind of come in. It's really um, just if I'm going to build up my little tail at the end here, and it's just such a great color too. So I picked this up in shade 158, Brew Profound. And I just find it to be really easy to use. So I'm glad I picked that up. So if you're wanting to try a new eyebrow pencil, highly recommend this new one from Chanel. And then on my lips today, I used my favorite lip liner, in Pavone and then I brought out my fancy the uh, La 31 Rouge lipstick in the beige rouge shade and I heard through the grapevine that they may be launching some new shades in the La 31 Rouge collections hopefully like a few more like nudes in pink so, so I'm looking forward to that launch but wanted to pop on play with these new eye pencils, kind of show you that those little pops of color can be, be done in a little bit more of a natural, neutral way, um, having a little bit of fun with those. And as always, I love to hear from you. Did you pick up any of these pencils? What are your thoughts? What are your favorite colors? Let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video soon.